Hey guys, I'm Matt Duffy from The Blues. I've partnered with NIB to take you through a few movement exercises that you can use before preparing to exercise, but also to restore balance to the body after exercise. I'll also talk through a few tips on how to keep well. The following exercises are examples to target common areas of restrictions or tightness in the body. Exercise number one is neck rotations. So you want to stand upright, turn your head and look over your left shoulder, pausing for a couple of seconds at each time. Repeat this three times. Exercise number two is a thoracic exercise which is called open book. So you want to lie on your side, knees together and arms out straight and then you want to open a book while keeping your knees on the ground and together. You can rip this out or you can hold. Perform the exercise both ways. Exercise number three is called the greatest stretch in the world. So you want to get in a low lunge position, hand on the ground, and then you want to rotate up. Do that both sides. You want to open your chest out and look up towards this guy. Exercise number four is one of my favorites. It's called downward dog and it's for the ankles. You just want to get up in a push up type position. Get your ankles flat on the ground or as close to as possible and then push your bum into the air. If you're particularly tight in this area you can walk your feet out and just get a bit of movement and then you just want to push back push your heels as close to the ground as possible you should feel a bit up your hamstrings also the last exercise is to relax so find a couple comfortable seat and you just want to breathe really deeply up through the nose and out through the mouth Keep the body moving. Exercise reduces levels of cortisol, which is a stress hormone. And regular exercise is even more important now in self-isolation. Aim to get outside to move your body every day and this will help you with your physical and mental health. Or look for online classes, circuits, or even a yoga class. Remember, if you're starting any form of exercise, it's important to follow the guidance of your doctor. During this time we want to prioritise our sleep hygiene. You want to aim to 7-9 to nine hours sleep per night and develop a routine to go to bed at around the similar time every night. Stop the, the devices. I know it's tough at this time when you know we've got a lot of Netflix shows that we can be watching late at night. But the blue light that comes from your device may suppress the hormone that regulates your sleep. You want to avoid caffeine and take care with your alcohol. And get up around the same time every morning. Expose yourself to the bright sunlight as soon as you wake up. During times of uncertainty, we may find that we have more stress and anxiety. So it's really important to manage that by staying connected with family and friends and letting them know how you're feeling during this time. Cheers for spending time with me today. I hope you found it useful. Look after your loved ones at the moment and take care. See you soon.